Where's Doug's tent? Back in there. Where's his bike? Where no one can see it. Where's his trailer? Also hidden. Let's head on out to Kroger's and get something for dinner. I am hungry and tired. It was a big day, a good day. Today I'll clean the lens on my camera, I promise. I'm leaving Loveland, sweetheart of Ohio, I agree. That is one fine town. May they grow and prosper and thrive. And look at this beautiful sidewalk. And then, once you're gone, Sims Township welcomes you. Kind of, unless you're a bicyclist, you can drive right off the end of that concrete. Or you can get in the road with potholes and no bike lane. Alright, I'm done ranting. I've flown into Cincinnati a few times and at the airport they're selling chili. I don't know what the fascination is with Chile and Cincinnati, but we're getting close to Cincinnati if we see Chile as a featured item. And look at this. If you're not from the United States, on the East Coast, they call soda pop soda or Coke. And in Michigan, where I grew up, they call it pop. But I don't know what a polar pop is. Maybe that's like a Slurpee or something. Anyway, I'm making progress and I'm happy about that. The weather is holding. Brisk, cloudy, but I think I have a mild tailwind. And I'm gonna make some time today. Oh man, there's a hawk on the other side of this tree. And look, it's been feeding on that deer. me. Hey Hawk. How you doing buddy? See the road up there. I left Wilson and the trailer up there because I want to come and sit, catch my breath. There's a lot of hills now as I approach Cincinnati. And look at this gem I found. Look at that. I wish the sun was shining because it'd be all sparkly. But look how clear the water is. I bet you people come down here and fish for trout. This mon run is a little muddier and you can see the cloudy water coming in. But this is a beautiful, clear stream. Like they put a retainer there. And, oh, it's a railroad. There's a railroad bed up there. I don't know if it's still active. These are the foothills of the Appalachians, I believe, and they're very, very old mountains. And they crumble like this, and they wear out. And it's hard to camp in, because there's not a lot of level. It's really interesting to find a site like this, because if you look, man has been here for so long that there are things to find. Old, old bricks. And blue glass. Where do I see that blue glass? There it is. What was it? Probably some kind of a resistor or an electrical connection. Hmm. 
beauty all around. <laughs> I looked at Google Maps and found out this is called Sycamore Creek. The sycamore has camo bark. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Deliberately. See that? That's a sycamore. They have really big brown leaves. They're not colorful. They have that camel type of bark. They'll live for 400 years. They're the ones that drop in the springtime these little balls that are seed pods when the rivers flood. And so their seeds get carried down and reestablished. So sycamore is a very common tree along a creek or a river. When I was a little boy, my grandma would sing a song about, did you ever go sailing down the river of memories to a little log cabin that is nestled among the sycamore trees where the sunshine is cheery and nothing in the world grows dreary. That's my cabin at the end of my river of memory. Oh, now I'm all choked up. Remembering Grandma Durham, she was such a sweet old soul. That's enough, Doug. Turn it off. I've Googled a motel near me because it's starting to snow. And I gotta get clean clothes, full charge, videos uploaded. So I'm going to a two-star motel 30 minutes from here. And I hope it's all downhill because I have hit the big hills today. But I made a lot of progress. This hotel is actually in northern Cincinnati. And that was my goal. And then I'll spend some days, hopefully, downtown making some tips twisting balloon animals. So I'm excited. See that big woods there? Very close to Cincinnati, but it's full of trails. Even though the weather's not good, I know that there'll be dog walkers. So, I'll stick with the motel plan, and I'll be fine. Boy, it's gonna be great. I think it's been four or five days since a good shower. It's been at least a couple weeks since I got a hotel. I need to get laundry done and get my ducks in a row with my equipment. I bring the bike and the trailer right into a hotel room. And then what I do is Google temperature in Delray Beach, Florida. And it says it is currently 76 degrees and then I turn the thermostat in the hotel room to 76 degrees and I prance around in my undies turn the TV up loud get online and answer comments get a good night's sleep although with my thermorest fixed patch that leak. I noticed last night as I was just falling off to sleep I thought for a second that I was at home in my warm bed and it felt the same. That Thermarest does a great job but I need to do maintenance on myself and my equipment in a safe warm place out of the snow. See what happens with this much weight. I can go in first gear up a hill like this, maybe, but I get off and walk a lot of the time. And I make that time up 
when I'm coming down a hill for every uphill there's eventually a downhill and I remember being in Cincinnati and thinking geez this place is very hilly but it's a fun town so I'm looking forward to this Alright, camera batteries are dying, phone batteries dying. I'm a little tired. It's snowing. And here we go. Let it snow, let it snow. I'll be inside. It's hard doing stuff with one hand when I'm filming. And it's all good. Oh. This is interesting. Now hotels don't have carpet. I think that's probably to deal with the bed bug situation. I don't know. It's a good idea, but it's not that comfortable. Anyway. <laughs> Got to Google what the temperature is in Delray Beach, Florida, and then adjust the thermostat. Well, I got a warm night's sleep with a clean body after two showers. I'm taking another one before I check out. I asked for a late check out. I got to go through my balloons and organize them and my business cards and my name tags. And, and it's just been a great time to clean up my gear, let it dry out. I got laundry done. Look at the sweet pile of laundry. All clean. That's nice. I cooked last night right here. I made uh, hamburger help with beef stroganoff and I ate the whole thing. And I had gotten a dozen donuts from Kroger and I ate the whole thing. I couldn't believe what a pig I was and I loved every minute. We got my uh, tarp and it dried out nicely. But it's odd how, how I can go for days out in the woods without being able to dry stuff off. There are my socks. They finally got washed. Temperature 74 degrees in Delray Beach, Florida. And what was I going to tell you? I got to go through balloon. Oh, I did not sleep well last night. I was very surprised. It was kind of like sore or real exhausted. My body was not happy, but I am. Um, I took aspirin. I took three, two aspirin doses over about an eight-hour period. Because I, I think it was the hills, pushing up a lot of hills. Anybody who knows Cincinnati knows there's a lot of hills. I could not find the uh, remote. So and. Uh, my psoriasis is not doing well under these stressful conditions on my body, so I vowed to eat a banana a day and use the moisturizing lotion more often. And it feels really good. It does not look like I'm organized, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Look at my legs are just like frogs' legs. These things are tough. Jeez, my gut's going away, but not as fast as I'd like. I need to trim this. I need to put my large denominations that I have left in my headband. Because if I'm going downtown, and I, not to disparage Cincinnati, but if I get robbed, they're not going to take my headband. So I roll up the stuff in there when I feel like there might be some kind of a, a problem. Anyway. I just love coming from dirty and tired and itchy and ah, getting that shower. And it's so nice. So it's been a great stay. It's snowing this morning, but it's not sticking. And uh, I'm very glad to have a hotel and I will be heading out. I asked for a late checkout. I'll be heading out at noon. And it's nine miles down to the Fountain Park or something like that where there's an ice skating rink and crowds of uh, 
kids with their parents and several people have told me a great place to make balloon animals and that's that's what I'm gonna do life is pretty darn good